Well, welcome back to the channel, my friends. If you're new to bug bounty hunting and fast scripts, we got a good video today. A two for one special, really. Hang in there because we're going to make a bash script that finds all the subdomains of a website and check if those subdomains have any security issues, aka vulnerabilities. Man, this is going to be as easy as a walk in a park, a piece of cake, child's play, really. Easy as pie, like shooting fish in a barrel. Help me out, guys, and subscribe to the channel because, well, I really don't have a good reason except to see more of me. Anyways, let's get into it. All right, guys, if you aren't in Kali Linux, let's go ahead and open it up. Go ahead and open up your terminal. I'm going to use nano to create our bash script. So I'm going to type in nano bugbounty.sh, which will be the name of the bash script. And the first line that we're going to create will specify the script should be executed using the bash shell. And for that, we're going to use something that's called a shebang. Now, this next line means that the target URL to be scanned for subdomains is passed as a command line argument when the script is executed. And this third line means that the output of the subfinder command is stored in the subdomains variable. And inside these parentheses, we're calling out to subfinder with a dash D against the target URL. Now we're going to output this into a text file and you can call this whatever you like. I'm calling it subdomains-web.txt, which means that this is the name of the file that will store the subdomains found by the subdomain tool. And now we're going to write the target URL to the output file specified by the output underscore file variable. And this greater than operator overwrites any existing content in the file. Now we also want to add the subdomains to the file and we're going to use two greater than operators which appends the content to the end of the file rather than overriding any existing content. So now we have the target URL in the output file and we have any subdomains that it finds in the output file as well. And now we're going to print out a simple message that says subdomain scan of your target URL is completed and that the results are stored in that specific output file. And then we need to send it all over to Nuclei for scanning. So we're gonna do a dash L we're going to call out to the subdomains-websites.txt file that we created, and we're going to point it to our Nuclei templates. So for this example, let me show you the Nuclei templates really quickly. We're going to use the CVEs folder, and in here, we're going to scan against all the CVEs that Nuclei knows about against our target URL. So let me just paste in the location really quickly. And then we're going to output it with a dash O into a file. And you can call this whatever you would like. And then that's it. Let's go ahead and save our file. Next, we need to make our file executable. And to do that, we're going to type in chmod plus X and then the file name. And now our script is ready to use. As an example, I'm going to use a live project website. So first it's going to call out to subfinder. It's going to enumerate all the subdomains and append them to a file that we created. And now, as you can see, it's going out to Nuclei to look for all the CVEs of the target URL and subdomain websites. And as you can see, it found a ton of CVEs. So we don't have to go through these right now. It's going to save this output again into a file that we can go through at a later time. Let's, let's go ahead and speed this up a little bit. So here's the final list of CVEs that it found for us, guys. A quick bug bounty bash script to get you started. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Check out this extra content for bug bounty hunting and hacking, guys. Subscribe to the channel and help your boy out. And until the next video, I'll see you guys out there on the hunt.